Hey y'all, today is, what's today? Halloween, happy Halloween y'all. It's Halloween and we don't care about nothing about that cause we in the Christmas section. We in the Christmas section, we in the Christmas section. I'm hyped up, I'm geeked all the way up because tell me why. I was gonna wait to show y'all when I got home, but I can't wait, I can't wait. Let me show y'all what I found. I got the last one too. This is my color scheme. And I got the last one. Mm -hmm. It's only $10. They're six for $10. And I got the last one. They have more like in Atlantic Station and all that. So if you live in Atlanta, don't worry. They got more, but I came to my area and I got the last one in my area. So cute. Y'all look at these candles behind me. Look how pretty they are. Now, in my opinion, that don't smell like nothing but this one smells like mm, this one's like my favorite one the cashmere cashmere vanilla this one smells really good they have the red one like oh my gosh the red one is pretty it's apple cinnamon um and then they have the green one which is one of my favorites because it's forest fear mm, it smells just like a christmas tree come with me yeah. I want this tree. I don't know why I want it. I just think it looks cute. But do I need it? Like, do I need it? Y'all, why do I want this? It's an avid calendar, right? It gives me anthropology. It's giving anthropology. It's giving anthropology. But for the low, because it's 35. Now, the ones that anthropology range 44 and up. But this is only 35 and you get one, two, three, four connected. Anthropology, you get one for 44. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. They got some crimson stuff. And this Christmas will be. Uh, okay, this is cute too. I love me. Mm, I love me a good Christmas. I know this ain't $25. I love me a good Christmas candle. I saw these on TikTok. I'm not a fan. I don't know if it's the hype, but I mean, I guess the little furry things, they hype. Right. What's on the end caps? More candles but in prettier glasses. Let's look at Hearth and Hand. I really want this, re this, um, what is this called? Let me put this stuff down. I really want this. Um, I want this wreath. I think it looks cute. This one right here. I think it looks really cute. Like, you know, with the black. I think that looks really cute. And then they have the matching garland. Like, that's really cute. Like, I really want this. This is only, oh, this is 40 bucks. Just like my last one. How cute. I think this is so cute. With the matching garland, because the garland comes with, the, oh my gosh, all these garlands. Okay, so I'm just now seeing that all these garlands have the black tie around it. I am coming back. I want all of these. And that's, that's a wreath. This is a garland. This is a garland, and that's a garland. And this is a wreath. I want a tree of them. A tree of them. Okay, let me put this back. Y'all gonna have to excuse me because this is the most time where I am goofy, I am cracking jokes, I'm more funny than I usually am because you know I'm a jokes. <laughs> but like for real, for real, I'm actually funny. <laughs> so around this time, I'm even more funny because I just be in such a good mood for Christmas. Like who doesn't like Christmas? Like who doesn't like Capricorns? Who doesn't like <sighs> fa la la la? <laughs> Let's see what kind of themes they got for, I was about to say Halloween. Let's see what kind of themes they got for Christmas. 
If you're into luxe, they got all the glitter and glory for you. That's not my style particular. But if it works for you, it works for you. Let's see. Continue on, shall we? What else they got? Oh, isn't that cute? The little Christmas calendar. I have a, um, what are these? What are they called? A garland that I got from Target a while ago. But they got the gingerbread garland. How cute is that? How cute is that? That's really cute. Um, they got the whole bird thingy. I'm not really a fan of either. But if you like that vibe, here you are. They got they got Christmas trees, but y'all, we're gonna go to Home Depot to get the or to look at the tree. I want to look at it because I do have a tree, and I said I was gonna get a new one, but I kind of want to get it, y'all. I just think it looks so cute. But let's just see it in person, y'all. She's so cute in person. Like, why did I come here? <sighs> now that I feel how to get this tree. Look at her twinkling. Look at how tall she is. This is the nine foot one. And this is the one that I would need. I need nine foot because my ceilings are 20 feet. But they only have seven and a half feet over there. But why? Why did I come and get this? Like, why did I come and see it? I got a tree. But it's, it's a flock tree. Which is still pretty. The flock one is even prettier. But like, oh my gosh, this one is gorgeous. Look at it twinkling. I'm telling you, they have another one at Costco that um, is like the same thing. <sighs> Y'all, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I have a tree, but I want... I have a tree, but I, I, I want this one. I want that one. Like, okay, Brittany, this thing, just, just calm down. But look at all the Christmas stuff that they have, y'all. I'm at Home Depot. I was gonna say Lowe's, but I'm at Home Depot, not Lowe's. <laughs> look at this tall nutcracker, Jeff. It's giving. Um, wow, these things are actually terrifying. If one of these. <laughs> They start moving. Girl. Oh, that's so cute. Sienna. Do you guys see them? They're moving with their cups of coffee. Sorry. Oh, cheers. I want that. Oh my gosh, look at this one. See this one right here? This one too. Like, I don't listen. Look. Seven and a half feet. I think. This one, they don't have any nine foot ones though. Sorry, I keep zooming in and out. They don't have any nine foot ones. They all have seven and a half feet. It's $2.99 for seven and a half feet. Girl, oh, I can't fit over there. It's $3.99 for the nine. Will it twinkle? I can't, I can't even fit. It's nine feet and it's only $3.99. This one right here that's twinkling. I want this one too. If they don't have the other one, I will get this one. Girl. It's nine feet. Jackson Noble Fear. Okay. And it's my last name, period. <sighs> now I gotta look for to see if they oh they got it. They have it right here. <gasps> the Jack this is right here. They have plenty. They have plenty of the Jackson one. So if I don't get the other one, I like the Jackson one too. <sighs> also, like I said, um Costco has one just like it so there's options is what i'm saying there's options Ooh, look at it oh my gosh so cute i'm obsessed okay now that i see it in person it ain't got no nine feet ones see this is how much it is for the nine feet Okay, I've seen all of I, all that I needed to see. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I am back home, sitting on the floor because 
I'll show you a couple of things. I broke a nail and at this point, I'm not putting it back on. I have to get like short nails. These are not that bad, but I have to get like actual short nails because they always break in half and then I pop the rest of it off. I went to Walmart yesterday and okay, so y'all know the viral Hobby Lobby um, ornaments. They look like this, but they're cream. And then they have the lighter brown ones. They didn't have the lighter brown ones at Hobby Lobby. So of course you go to Michael's and you get these ones, but they have like, but they have like three colors. And the last color that's missing is like cream. Can't find that anywhere. And I'm not paying an arm and a leg at uh, Amazon. Cause I did see some on Amazon, but I'm like, yeah, no. So I went to Walmart and I found these and I just kept staring at them and I was like, these might actually work. So this is what they look like. They were, what was the thing at? $5.97. Now, let me open these up. They have these ones that have like the glitter in them. Don't pay those, no mind, because I'm not using them. Um, but they do have these matte ones. <laughs> Wait, come on, did you see yourself? Yeah. Wait, show your shirt. Huh. Your shirt says trick or treat. Ooh, trick? No, trick. Okay, trick or treat. Yes, that's what it says. <laughs> so, I have these white ones that are matte. For, for the Christmas tree. Yes, for the Christmas tree. And then they have these ones that are um, like white, but they're not matte. They're just a little bit shiny. Whoa. Yeah, glowy, shiny, glowy. But the main ones that I wanted was these white. I like, I like, I like the shiny ones. You get the shiny ones? Yeah, 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 because I can kind of see myself in them. So, and this one I can't. I like then we one. have these, of course. Ooh. I know. It's so soft. It's so soft. It's, it's so soft? Yeah, it's soft. Speak of these ones, we got some, we got some small ones there. We got these big ones and then the small ones. Mm-hmm. And then of course these from Michaels. These are from Michaels. The big ones are from Home Goods. These are from Walmart. Okay. I'm bring them on the Christmas tree, but be careful not to break them. Yeah, be careful not to break them. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get the. Oh, let me get my Target box. Hold on. Okay, we got more of these ones. Never mind. Those ones. This one is way cooler. Okay. Now, we have Target. Let me put it down more because we're not going to use the glitter ones. Well, I like the glitter ones. Okay. You like the glitter ones? Yeah. Yes, so, like we have these. Wait, let me show y'all. Hold on. Y'all see the color scheme. And then... From Target, the last ones I got were these. How pretty. Whoa, look at the little, how, how are these pretty? How, yeah, it's so pretty, how, the, some of them are like, like the uh, color of like the ice cream, some of them are like, like the peach. Yeah. <laughs> they only have one box left and I literally took the last box. I told you guys that, but listen. So soft. They look so cute. Yeah, to do the look cuter than these ones. Mm hmm. But they're gonna match really well. And they're flocked. Mmm, they're flat. Yeah, I see how big they are. And they're bigger. Yeah. It's just ice cream one. Uh, I was see, the color is just gonna go so good with it. Yeah, I think this, this, one. this one kind of looks like this one. Mm -hmm. And this one. But that one's like this one. What's that? Oh, I also got two candles from Walmart. The first one is Holly, Holiday. I was about to say Hollywood. Holiday gingerbread. This, the notes are orange, ginger, and allspice, which makes it come smell the candle. Ooh, that is real good. It says really good. Oh, it's good. A little good? Yeah. Like it's orange, ginger, and allspice. So if you can imagine what that smells like. And then this one is 
Christmas classic, classic Christmas tree. tree. Classic Christmas tree. Oh, 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 that Christmas tree looks good. It got Santa on it. Yes, it has pine, snow, and cedar wood. <laughs> this one kind of smells the same. Yeah. <laughs> it smells the same. It does. It smells a little different, but. Smell, they smell really good. They smell like the snow. they have these new candles at uh, Walmart, y'all. They're five ninety seven. So if you guys check out Walmart, let me just say, Walmart has been Mom, doing it. Mom, up. Are you even going to get these out? What? Okay, let me take a picture of them first, and then you can take them out. Mm. I don't know what color my ribbon will be. Either black or green or red. So cute. Do you want to help me put the candy in the bag? What bag? Do you want to help me pour the candy in here? Yes. Okay. okay. They were having. Good job, all of it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that a lot. Why are you jealous? That's a lot. I did this. These are some of my candies that I don't like. Yeah, you don't like candy, we know. <laughs> Macy does not like candy, she only likes chocolate. chocolate. Oh, oh, easy. you eat these? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't wither. Do, do oh, and these are these. gummies. We're gonna bring these to the kids. Okay, mix these up. Oh, okay, wait. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this one can be hard. Kids would just make it hard with the candy that kids will like. Mm -hmm. Can I scoop the candy and then put them in the, in the bag? Mm -hmm. Can I just scoop the candy and then put them in the bag? Yep. I know there's people in the comments, right, already that were like, oh, I'm putting up my decor already. I didn't start putting up my decor. Okay, so I didn't start yet, obviously, but um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to take down my Halloween stuff, obviously. Like, I'm going to take down, or maybe even tonight, to be quite honest with you, after all the trick-or-treaters go. I found my camera sliding. After all the trick-or-treaters go, I'm going to take down... I don't know. I'll probably do it in the morning because I don't like being here in the dark. But I'm going to take down all of my Halloween decor. I'm going to keep up some of my fall stuff. And then once I declutter and take out my Christmas decor, I'll start decorating. Because I need to know, I need to visually see what I have. Because there's a lot of decor that I've forgotten about. And I don't want to just start decorating until I know what I'm going to use, what I'm not going to use. Like stuff like that. So... Yeah, I went to Aldi's, right? Y'all need to go to Aldi's because Aldi's has so much, like, Christmas um, snacks. So the first thing I got is this kettle popcorn. It's peppermint kettle popcorn. Now, I know some people may say it's nasty, but y'all, it is so good. It's sweet and salty holiday treat. My girls love the one from Target. You guys know Target comes out with their, like, tins of popcorn in like a clear container i forgot who the brand is I, I forgot but every year they come out with it and they're kind of pricey but all these has their own popcorn i want to try it because if they taste the same i'm getting this one and then they have not turtles but chocolate pecans by chokur chokur okay because listen i love me some my husband and i love us some turtles why is it dark? My husband and I love us some turtles, but y'all know it could be expensive. So, all these for the low, low. But those are the only two things I grabbed from all these. I want to go back because we have Digital Day Friday. Um, if y'all don't know what Digital Day is, that means my kids stay home from school and learn from the computers. And do they work from the computers? So, um, I was thinking because if they have Digital Day, it's going to be cold. And I want to get them the hot chocolate bombs um because we never tried those before so i think i'm gonna go back to all these before friday and pick those up for the girls and i'll probably show you guys what else they have because they have a lot of stuff for christmas time like <laughs> christmas christmas time like that's the best holiday ever um what's what time is it it's like four something i don't know but 
the plan is for get my nephew and then oh my god why is it the plan is for us to go get my nephew and then start trick-or-treating i guess i'm pretty sure my younger my older girls are gonna go out when it's darker but we need to go out a little bit before that so the sun sets at like 6 30 or 6 40. make sure they have a costume or make sure macy puts on her costume she does not like her costume y'all she just says so itchy my kid just doesn't like clothes like macy doesn't like clothes so i don't know but she gonna wear this costume girl all right let me go y'all i'll be back she needs a jacket. She's gonna be cold. It's freezing outside. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Turn around your brain. <laughs> Turn around. Your brain is up. Okay, there we go. Mari, you're gonna be freezing. Kids nowadays, they don't care if, huh? Like a thermal? What do you mean a thermal? That's what she got. Hey, Mahari. Mahari is gonna be cold because she does not like to wear a coat, even though we said, now do you want bronchitis? I know that is. No, it's huh. diapers. It's like it's like strep. You want that? No. So you need to put a coat on. Say happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! We got a witchy, we got a Batman! We got a Batman and a witch. A Batman and a witch. And her. And her. It's strangers. It's strangers. <laughs> I don't like strangers. We're strangers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like strangers. You're not scary. Oh, oh, yes, it is, baby. I don't, oh, I'm scary. <laughs> I don't think you're scary to me. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Am I not scary? No. no. Batman to the rescue. Okay. Oh, wait. Where's it going to make sure? Stand right there, let me get a picture of you and Macy. Stand right there, let me get a picture of you and Macy. Okay. It smells like hot rubber. It smells like hot rubber. I smell her skin in my face. It's like not smell. I'm gonna take a picture of you guys. <laughs> the only time I get to wear the, the only time I get to to have you girls wear pink I is when you're trick-or-treated. Wait, wait, we got the same, not the same. Can you see? We're the same. I can, I just don't like the way it smells. Oh, okay, come on, go ahead. It's time to go. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Okay, come on. It's not gonna be that, you're not gonna be out for long because it's cold out. Macy only gets chocolate. It's gonna be cold, is she cold? Is she oh zipped up? I feel like Macy needs some mittens. <laughs> it's so cold outside. Well, it's not that cold. She's guy. Stop, just cold. It's cold. <laughs> they can't see what I'm doing, baby. <laughs> sure, I'm sure. Okay, so it is, uh, what time is it? 7.45, I think. Ooh, 7.41. And it's so cold outside. It's freezing outside. And I am almost done passing out. Well, we're almost done passing out the candy. We just got this much left. I ended up saving the fruit snacks because our daughters have a match or a meet this weekend. So I was like, girl, let me save that for the kids at the meet. Don't mind me, it's a pink car. We're actually giving that away. And so, anyways, it stayed in the living room for now. But what was I about to I feel like my hair is messing up. Let me sit down somewhere. And this TV is so loud. Hold on. Where's the remote? I don't even know where the remote's at. Almost done passing out the candy. And um, I saved the fruit snacks because the girls have a meet this Saturday and I was gonna use the fruit snacks for the meet because they asked us to bring a snack. So I was like, I'll just use that. So whenever that candy is done, lights are off and we're done. But it's kind of slow, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of slow. It's not as bad as last year. Or was it last year or the year before? One of these years, it was terribly slow, and I had candy left over, and it was just dragging, but this year, I feel like it's slow, but it's not as slow. It's not that bad, so we're just waiting 742. We're just waiting to pass out the rest of the candy so we can wrap this up. Macy is outside. She's supposed to be heading back right now. I know it's so cold, and child. 
Babe, look at his costume. Babe. Yes. Let's look at her costume. Uh -huh. Oh, he's a ninja. Okay, y'all, this is what we're looking like. Sorry, the uh, lawn maintenance people are, lawn care are in the background. I um, was sweeping, but they're gonna come and like do it over, you know? But this is what we're looking like. I am not changing it for Christmas yet because it's November 1st and it's still fall. The wreath that I got from her in hand, I still kept out my pumpkins. I changed out my mat because I had a Halloween mat on there before so obviously I have just a hello one with the original pumpkins that I had before with the hay so this is how we're looking now since um, like I said it's still fall I'll have this until Thanksgiving and then I'll like start decorating for Christmas y'all I slept in my makeup I have to like literally wash my face and shower but um I had the fireplace on I did not take this down yet because I just feel like once I go through what I need or what I have for my Christmas decor, I'll slowly start taking down the stuff in my house. Um, my husband was like, why do you leave the pumpkins and stuff out there? I'm like, it's still November. It's still fall. I will transition to Christmas in a couple weeks besides the first. Besides, I don't put my Christmas tree up until Thanksgiving. And I don't decorate my house outside until Thanksgiving or like before December 1st. Like that's when I start decorating outside. Outside is always the last place to get decorated. Here's all my stuff that's going in the attic. My husband has to come and take the boxes down for me so I can store all this stuff. It's so cold, I'm able to wear my Uggs. <laughs> so it's finally cold and I have like this buffer jacket on. But anyways, all this stuff is going upstairs. I just recorded some content for these beautiful Ornaments, look how they look in the sun. They're so pretty. Only $10. I absolutely love these. So cute. This is the last day of the vlog, by the way. I have to edit my vlog tonight so that can be up for you guys tomorrow, which is Thursday. I have been going through my book, like highlighting different prayers, different words, just going through and highlighting it. So every morning I spend time doing that spend my morning in prayer i cannot wait to use my dish this was from threshold the viral baking dish i don't know what to put in it it's for thanksgiving i'm baking for thanksgiving of course i just don't know what to put in here i was thinking about the macaroni but it's actually not that big i need something in here it's actually not that big like if you think about it it's really not that big so I'm not baking like a ton of food, but I can't wait to cook in this. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I love it. Okay, so I have decor, Christmas trees. Like I have a whole bunch of stuff in these bags. I need to list it. No, I need to. I was gonna go through them to see what I have and what I don't have. Like just see what's available in these bags. <sighs> I don't feel like it. But I want to see what type of Christmas decor I have. So we can do that later um, after I get out the shower and stuff. We'll do that. I also have to like put this stuff away for the Halloween decor. And yeah, so I'll come back 
after I shower and stuff. Okay, I'm showered and I'm relaxed. It's so cold outside. Ugh. Like, this is the weather where I am literally about to watch a Christmas movie. Y'all, call me crazy, but this morning while I was dropping Macy off, and last night when I was dropping my nephew off, I was playing Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas by Frank Sinatra. Yes, I was playing that. Frank Sinatra, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I just can't help it. I can't. And I, I'm not even going to try to, I'm not even going to apologize anymore. I'm just going to be Delulu. But here is my bag. One of many, first of all. One of many, many, many. I feel like most of the stuff I'll be using, um, except a few things I won't. Okay, so my pride and joy, Letters from Santa by Hearth and Hand. I love this box. It is like one of my faves. So I definitely want to bring that out this year. These little trees from Target. This one doesn't light. This one's not pre-lit, but I do have one that is pre-lit, I believe. But of course, these little trees from uh, Target's dollar section. Little Nutcracker, so cute. Um, I don't know, I think this came from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't even have a tag. I'm not sure where I got this from, but it's like a plain neutral, uh, neutral Nutcracker. And I got this from Joann's last year. So I have this, this is coming out too. I love this tree, so I'm keeping that out too. Um, I have these. <laughs> I stuffed them with bags. I have these. I have four of them. So I have these knitted stockings that I got from Amazon. I absolutely love them. They're very, very great quality. This one from the Hearth and Hand. And I also got this one as well from the Hearth and Hand collection. So I don't know if I'm going to use these. This year, I'm just not sure exactly which way I'm going. I have my bells from last year as well. These are the ones from Walmart that everyone was like, ah. everyone's looking for this year, but child, I don't need them because I have them from the last year. I have this beautiful garland. This came from Walmart. I love the way it looks. I definitely will be using it on our staircase this year, so. Let me just put that out. Okay, so let me put some stuff out and play with it a little bit to see what I'm gonna be doing this year. Okay, this is the gist of what I'm feeling like this year. There's my ribbon. I don't know, like I love this, don't get me wrong, but I'm trying to find a way to incorporate the red. I just, I really want it like red like I did last year. But I love the neutrals. So this is like what I have. I have way more greenery than this. Um, I love greenery. Like I absolutely love greenery around Christmas time. So I'll have more of this greenery. Um, let me see if it's too dark. I'm right by the window. So but yeah, I had to turn it up so you guys can see. Um, but this is like the gist of what I'm going for this year. Like I said, I have more greenery and I'm debating on adding, I don't know. I had red and green last year, so I don't know. Like I had this last year, so I don't know. I actually like the neutral. Of course I have my little mug as well, so I don't know. But you know, I feel like for my living room with most of the house, I can just stick to the neutral tones and like my tree and stuff. And then on my coffee station and stuff, I can add hints of like, red and stuff so i think this is going to work i love it i really am obsessed with everything i'm obsessed with everything and how it looks so yeah i had to sort it all and see what i'm using and what i'm not using so this for the most part is what i'm using i have another bag i think i don't know but this is just the start of it I'm on my way to Hobby Lobby because I want to return some things that I got from there that I'm not really feeling anymore. So hopefully they'll let me return it. Um, it has not been more than 90 days. So hopefully they let me return it. The only thing is I probably don't have the same card that I use because I changed my card. So I don't know. I had to get a new card. So I forgot what card I even used to pay for this stuff. But we'll see what they say when we get there but i cannot believe it's november guys like it is november 
it is like a cold day out the leaves are blowing i feel like these last months flew by like ever since august in september october like i just feel like all those months just flew right on by birthday is next month my birthday is next month and i have no plans yet like i i really don't know what to do have y'all saw the keith lee debate majority of the people understand like where he's come from some people are like oh why would you expose blah 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 but my thing is this you like if, he, if you know he's a food critic and you know he's going to and you know he has the right to to share his experience because truth be told other consumers share their experience like me i'm a huge google reviewer like i may not talk about places all the time you know online as far as like my social media but i will leave a google review that's one thing i will leave a yelp review okay that's one thing i will do i will do that because people use google all the time people will read google reviews i read plenty of google reviews i will check the, the reviews and i will write one too so it's just weird how my thing is this is why i don't go out to new restaurants in atlanta like unless i've tried them or i've heard like really really good things from trusted people i don't go out to new restaurants in atlanta i'm scared to try them because i just feel like it's just not gonna i don't know I'm, i don't trust the experience and it's not a cheap experience that's the thing like if you go out and you go out to eat and it's like a cheap experience then fine you're not really losing money like that these restaurants cost so much money so all the, before you even get set before you most of these restaurants before you even sit down to eat you would have spent 20 to 40 dollars because you had to park that's number one right there you have to park you have to park and, I, and i'm not talking about like full-on ballet like oh they parked my car on a hill like the parking spot is right in front of me i could literally valet my own car but because atlanta is so like money hungry they will tell you oh it's 20 dollars to park and the parking spot is like two feet ahead of me okay so that's one so you already spent like 40 dollars before you even sat down to eat your food and then if the food doesn't taste good the food is expensive you have automatic gratuity it does not matter some of these restaurants it does not matter if your five party of five or less uh for most restaurants it's either or whether you're a party of five or and or your ticket is 75 dollars or more auto grab like auto grab you guys know when you order and you look at your receipt auto gratuity auto grab and i'm just like oh my gosh like going out to eat is an expensive experience so when i'm thinking about going out to eat somewhere on my birthday I don't know if I'm going so I, it will have to be somewhere I already went to and that's not many places because a lot of these places scare me I don't get out much so if I go somewhere and I really want to enjoy my dinner and I have a bad experience I'm just ugh, no it's going to like make me not want to go out again so the whole Keith Lee debacle like it is what it is Three, most of these restaurants out here have the weirdest rules but someone who has worked in the service industry for years some of them i do understand because like the whole two hour thing the whole two hour seating thing as a server i did not mind that as a server because you know how many tables i can flip within two hours so like you have a table that's been sitting there that tipped you five dollars and they're sitting there for so long holding up your table you don't wipe the table all they got is water glasses <laughs> and they've been sitting there you could have flipped your table so many times you are like you know missing out on all these people coming in that are willing to tip more but i do understand from a consumer like okay i spent my money i came out to eat i want to like not be rushed so i get that too the whole dress code thing like sometimes i'm like okay who are y'all really marketing to like who are y'all really trying because i don't know i don't know sometimes i'm like they doing too much like <laughs> they doing way too much yeah i don't know what i want to do where i want to go for my birthday the whole Keith Lee thing came to mind when I was just thinking about what I want to do for my birthday and where I want to go. That's why I love mom and pop, you know, restaurants or like chain restaurants, like good chain restaurants. Like, of course, Chili's is good, but I'm not talking about like chain like Red Lobster or anything like that. I'm talking about like Capitol Grill or something like that where it's it's good and it's still a chain. But anyways, yeah, that's just my little two cents about it. 
I'm about to end the vlog, y'all. It's much later. I literally forgot all about the vlog, to be quite honest. It's 8.43 right now. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Target really quick because we're gonna do this tomorrow. It's a digital day for the kids, so I decided to get some paint and stuff and start our activities now for, you know, Christmas. Monda. Mondo Llama um, wooden paint your own characters kit. But look what it comes with. It is so cute. <laughs> look at that. It has three different gingerbreads. And it also. Let me just take a it off. It comes. With some, it comes with the paint. Look at the little brown paint for the gingerbread. And then it comes with like three different gingerbreads and it comes with the paintbrushes. This was $5, y'all, at Target. So cute. They have the best crafts. I got the kit for $5 at Target. So we're gonna do that Friday because that's digital day and the kids don't have school. So anyways, about to end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for chilling with me. Happy November 1st. We're about to do all the Christmas festivities. I'm so excited, but yeah. Make sure you like, comment on my videos. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Enjoy your week ahead, y'all. And I will see you on the next vlog. Bye.